cheers to 50 years. The annual festival in the park kicked off 30 minutes ago, celebrating a big milestone. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellani is live in Elmwood Park tonight. So Patricia, how's the festival going down there? Well, the festival just started about 30 minutes ago and people are already coming in from all over the region. As you can see behind me, there are folks already sitting down all around the stage. They're getting ready for the first performance. Earlier today, crews were getting everything ready for this three-day musical festival. Oh, well, the community loves it. We are a destination. Chief organizer Skip Brown says this weekend is so special for the community, there's now a nickname for it. We have our own little nickname. We're the unofficial official start of summer. Visitors from all over the region, as well as the entire East Coast, are expected for the festival, which is good news for local businesses like Shishka. We're just getting ready for a big crowd. We're expecting a large group of people, um, especially this evening. I think that we're going to get a lot of people that aren't normally from Roanoke into Roanoke, and that's going to help us generate a lot more business. Some of the local restaurants are preparing specials for customers this weekend. Our food, most of the time we develop new regulars when we have festivals like this. The night special would be the beef stuffed cabbage rolls. Since this year marks the festival's 50th anniversary, visitors can expect more activities than usual. Brown says one of the highlights to this year's festival is that there are going to be much bigger shows right here on this stage. The stage is active all day Saturday and all day Sunday before the national acts. Tomorrow night is Fog Hat. Brown anticipates a major economic boost for the Valley. You know, fully, we're, we're going to sell out. We already know we're going to sell out. The collateral benefit to the Valley can be as much as a million dollars. And if you're looking for something fun to do tonight, I'm told the first concert starts at 7 o'clock. The festival will continue throughout the evening and into the weekend. Reporting live in Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.